My Expect the Comics, and I'm back. This time I got a cool channel announcement and a couple of packages that came in the mail. Bought, you know, a couple months ago. I just have it unboxed. You want to see what uh, books I have in there? Stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> So welcome back. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so when I do drop some content, you get in a timely fashion. I did say I was going to have a channel announcement. So uh, here it is. Well, I'm on vacation. Finally, after I don't know, well over a year, I get to actually go somewhere on vacation. You know, throughout this whole COVID nonsense. That's been going on. It's been holding my vacation time, so I'm stacked to finally go away. And I will be going to Texas for the next week. I'm going to be uh, flying down into uh, San Antonio. By the time you guys uh, see this video, I'll be already starting my vacation. So that's the big announcement. If you guys live down in the San Antonio, Austin area, hit me up. Or shoot me some uh, DMs on the IG, you know, if there's any cool shops to check out or any cool spots to visit while I'm down there, let me know. I'd appreciate that. Um, also said I had a couple of uh, packages here that uh, they didn't arrive like that. Don't worry. I know you probably saw the beginning of like, you know, not, not a, you know, a big eBay, you know, mess, but... Um, I already opened them just to save the, you know, the hassle of the extended record time. And man, that first box was, that took a while to open. Jeez, good thing I did it before time. So, um, I bought these back. When did I buy these? Um, I'm going to show the info. So this was back in May. So two packages back from May that I have not unboxed. Um... I forget what's in there. It's it's been that long, so you know, Panda's like he freaks out when he has these packages that uh, come in the mail and he doesn't open them until Sunday. I had two packages here from May. Try doing that. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's open up the books and let's see what we get. And uh, be good, you know these these were you know packaged really well in this first package. Everything is nice and intact. I'm going to show you the books and then maybe it'll start, you know, ringing a bell what these books are. So, what do we got? Oh, nice. A little uh, Bronze Age Hulk, Hulk issue 151. So, I think I know what these are. All right, so these are, um, ended up buying, there was like this seller on eBay that had a big lot of Hulk books and I was just following his, uh, his uh, you know, his page for, the week or so and trying to snag some good Hulk books on the cheap. So uh, I think that's what these are. Ooh, here we go. This is a little Silver Age Hulk issue 111. And I think this is the, I forget what this is, Planet Master or something like that. I don't remember offhand. But uh, it is, these, this is low grade. Um, a little, some little tear there, but uh, this is real early Hulk, so this is cool. All right, next book. What we got? Oh yeah, this is a classic cover. Tales to Astonish, issue number seventy-five. Also, a twelve center. You gotta love that cover. Nice. You gotta love these yellow covers, especially from the uh, the silver and the golden age. They're really, you know, they're, they're, they're coveted. Uh, get a little bit of uh, rainbow action here. This is Hulk issue number one ninety. This is a cool cover. Uh, and then the last book from this box, what we got? Hulk issue number 198. So, like I said, I was looking for some early Hulks in the uh, 100s. And uh, I was able to get these for a pretty good deal. So, next package, like I said, I bought these back in... Uh, Back in May, mid-May. See, haven't looked at them. I swear, it's packaged really well. 
decent amount of bucks, geez. So I'm gonna open these up carefully. So I don't, I'm not gonna use the, uh, I'm not gonna use the razor blade for this one. I'll probably cut right through it because there's no, uh, as you can see, there's no cardboard on top of it. So I don't wanna do that. And then we can uh, check out the books that we got here. So hopefully everyone had a pretty good weekend. Like I said, I just finished my uh, work weekend. Had to work Saturday and Sunday. And uh, now I'm on vacation for the next couple of weeks. And I'll spend the first week out in Texas. And then the last week will be pretty, pretty low key, hanging out. Just enjoying vacation. All right. So uh, let's open these up. This is interesting. All right. Probably just fast forward this little section real quick, just so uh, saves a little bit of time. All right, here we go. All right. So, first book from the second pack. No, oh, maybe not because it's in uh, it's in plastic. All right, let's try this again. First book from the second pack. And uh, none of these are bagged and boarded, so uh, I'll rebag and board them after. What we got? Hulk issue number 123. And these were, you know, all low, lower grade. Uh, I believe they said it was like VG, VG plus, and, um, and that's what it looks like. So i got 15 centers. Next book. Hulk issue number... 125. Got a little bit of writing on this one, <laughs> but it's all good. It presents really well, and that's all that matters. Got a nice little subscription crease there. But these would be great just to read, you know. Issue number 126. Whoa. This one does have a little bit of a split at the top. Issue number 127. Another nice cover. Issue number 129. And uh, I don't know if any of these are key by any means off the bat. Like I said, a lot of these I just bought them because they were nice little runs of the uh, Hulk series. This is 130. And to finish off, 131 from this section. There you go, nice little uh, cover with Iron Man on that. So that's the first section, and then the last bulk section to uh, finish off the lot, and then we'll be done. And like I said, these are all gonna have to be rebagged and boarded, because they came in a sleeve. So this one is issue number 133, The Demon and the Dictator. Issue number 134. It looks like it's featuring the uh, goal. Now these are all, all 15 centers. Issue number 135. This is a really nice cover. And it's featuring my favorite villain, Kang the Conqueror. So this might be a good one to read. Let me take a read of that one. Issue number 137. Love these space covers. They're just classic. 138. Uh, and the last issue, 140. The brute that shouted love at the heart of the atom. <laughs> nice. So uh, that's it. Ended up, uh, it was a big Hulk lot that I ended up picking up. Um, gonna go through some of these, rebag, reboard all of them, and uh, they're probably just gonna go out for uh, AOKs. So uh, if you like that, hit the thumbs up, 
If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And like I said, this week I'm going to drop a bunch of content because I'm going to be away for the week. So I'm going to try to record some videos, get them uploaded, and uh, schedule them throughout the week when I get a chance. But um, until next time, it's Mark Smith the Comics. Out.